Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Kenny from Compa, and today I'm joined by Archer, my cockatiel. Today we're gonna explore if cockatiels are actually parakeets or parrots, or maybe something entirely different. Scientists have been really wondering about this for a very long time, and today I'm gonna tell you what they have decided on and what they actually are. So, without further ado, let's get into it! So let me start with the characteristics of a parrot. So let's see what defines a parrot and what characteristics makes a, a bird fit into the parrot category. So parrots have strong curved hook bills. So Archer, check, he has strong curved hook bills. Parrots are also having an upright body, which means they're kind of up straight. Not to mention that parrots have zydactyl feet, which means they have two toes in the front and two toes in the back, which makes them be able to have their feet cling to the perch very well. Now, if you look at Archer's feet, he has indeed zydactyl feet. If we can like get him closer to the camera, maybe. Now, there is, of course, more that comes to seeing what a parrot is, because you can look at the DNA and decide if it fits in the parrot family or not. But obviously, I don't have the equipment to look into his DNA, nor do I have the skills and expertise to go that far into the biology of the parrot. <laughs> so we're just going to look at outer characteristics today. Now, if we're going to look further on the parakeet, so what defines a parakeet? Right you can, look! So if we look at the characteristics of a parakeet, you probably know a couple of parakeets, like the Rosella, the Indian Ringneck parakeet, the Budgie, and the Cockatiel parakeet. So parakeets are characteristic by having a slender body. They are parrots, and parakeets have a long tail with a small body. So often hey, really big parrots are not parakeets, even though they have a really long tail, for example, like a macaw, but they are actually parrots because they have such a big body and they're not very slender. <laughs> so Arthur would be, in fact, a parakeet. But this is not entirely true because Arthur does not belong to the family of parrots like true parrots. A budgie, for example, belongs to the family of true parrots. A cockatiel, on the other hand, does not. So if you look at the class order and family of the cockatiel, you'll see that they belong to the class Avis, which is the class birds, which obviously he is a bird, so that seems to fit. <laughs> if you look at the order of the cockatiel, he belongs to the pistachio forms, and the pistachio forms are parrots, so Arthur is a parrot, but he's not a true parrot like a lot of other parrots. For example, the budgie is a true parrot, and macaw is a true parrot, because they belong to the family true parrots. But Arthur, the cockatiel, does not belong to the family of true parrots, but he belongs to the family Cockatooidae. And cockatiels are actually the smallest family member of the Cockatooidae. And the Cockatooidae is the family of cockatoos. So you have the white cockatoo, the umbrella cockatoo, the citron crested cockatoo, the rosé cockatoo, and then you have Arthur. Some people actually believe that cockatiels are the most basal clade of the cockatoo family, which means that all other cockatoos came from the cockatiel. So some people actually believe that's not cockatiel, but it's a black cockatoo who was actually the most basal clade. Now some people believe that the cockatiel has is the most primal clade because all the other cockatoos have a way more developed crest and the cockatiel actually has an undeveloped crest well they have a crest which they can raise but it's not as well developed as the other co cockatoos in the family now if you look at the outer appearance cockatiels come from australia just like all the other cockatoos so that would make sense that it's in the cockatoo family cockatiels also have these really tiny and cute little cheek patches and there's actually a lot of different cockatoos who also have these cheek patches oh and if you're surprised so all parakeets are actually parrots, which means the budgie, the Indian ringneck, the rosella are all parrots. And there's not really a difference in speciation between parakeets and parrots because all parakeets are parrots. So I just wanted to make that clear to you guys as well, which might surprise some of you. So a budgie is actually a true parrot. A budgie is actually more of a parrot than a cockatiel because he's a true parrot and a cockatiel is a cockatoo and not a true parrot. So a budgie is more parrot than a cockatiel. Who knew? So if we come to a conclusion, a cockatiel is a parrot, not a true parrot, but he is a parakeet and he's also a cockatoo. So there you have it. That's the conclusion of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. Arthur flew away in the meantime because he doesn't have a lot of concentration to be here and he's run out of sunflowers. <laughs> so if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll be seeing you again next time. Bye bye.